What's going on, everyone? We're playing some Gunnack today. Now, I am recording this pretty late at night, so... Let's hope that I get along pleasantly before I decide to go to bed. So this game was made by Nexsoft, as you can see. In the logos, copyrighted by Tokyo Shoseki in 1990. This is an NES game, and I am playing it on... I believe it's the Nostalgia NES emulator, but I'm not too sure. I'll have to check that later. Welcome. So, yeah, let's just get started. Oh, sorry about that. Welcome. Since this is your first time, you can have four bombs for free. Okay. If you collect several bombs of the same type, the effect of each bomb is enhanced, but you can't carry more than 20 bombs. Okay, so now we're getting started. So, this is a shooter game, as you can see, obviously. And in it, you play as the gun knack, who is like a space policeman. And you have to figure out why everything is going crazy on these planets that you're traveling to. So, this is the first planet. And you will, you'll see what the gimmick is. I bet you cannot guess it from here. So you see a bunch of, like, craters and stuff, so you think... Okay, it's the moon. Now, that might have given it away if you were, like... I don't know. It might have given it away if you happened to know, but... You saw the carrot there. This place is rabbit-themed. Those craters, those are actually rabbit holes. Full of rabbits that should have taken a left turn at Albuquerque. And now you're seeing the rabbits. So let's talk about what I'm doing. So you remember those bubbles from the beginning that had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Those are the different weapons that the gun knack can collect. I'm using weapon 3 right, right now, which is like a homing ability. Homing ability is pretty good, just not on the rabbit boss. I will say with my practice... And if you collect the same number multiple times, then you get an upgrade. So I'm going to try to upgrade this as much as possible before I decide to, like, switch weapons. I think that'll be pretty good. Alright. I would say we are definitely sitting pretty. We got 12 bombs, and should I collect weapon 5? You know what? Why not? You live and you learn. Weapon 5 is this laser ability, which I would say it does a lot of damage, but I think it fires pretty slowly, and it doesn't really cover the screen as much as I would like for me to, like, say this is one of my favorites. Weapon 1 is the basic. Like, you shoot the bullets, and then the enemies die in front of you. Weapon 2 is, like, a big bullet that splits into tinier bullets, so... It's pretty good, but you got to think about when you want to use it. So I'm just going to beat this mini boss, which is like, it looks like a moon, but that's not a moon. That's a space station. And it's, it was gone in the blink of an eye, honestly. So you really can't complain. Get these rabbits out of here. Yeah, going to Magical Rabbit Planet is... Oh, extra life. And now I'm on Weapon 2. And I have 14 bombs, and I'm on the W bomb leader. I'll tell you what the bombs do as I use them, but I don't really use the bombs too often because... I mean, this is a video game where you have a limited number of them, and I'm, like, very paranoid that I would want to use it later. But, I mean, sometimes you gotta know when later actually happens, because most of the time you're just saving it for nothing, and then you're taking an unnecessary risk. But you would not want that. Okay, give me weapon 2 again. And I did get hit there because of the little spherical moon thing that flew up at me. So... Now you see the problem with Weapon 2. When it's not upgraded, it fires extraordinarily slow. 
and it leaves you fairly defenseless, unlike weapon one, which leaves you fairly defenseful. Is defenseful even a word? I'm not sure. I hope so, otherwise I would look like a rather large fool. All right. So, I think we're at the boss right now. And we are at the boss right now. We do have weapon one, which is fairly good for the boss, but I don't know about this upgrade level, because as you can see, I have to shoot all of these carrots out of the way before they do things that I would not want to have happen to me. So you know what, I'm going to actually use some of the bombs, maybe? So now, instead of having the W, which stands for water, I have the B, which I believe stands for blistering tornado, or blustering tornado. One of those two, but it comes across as the same idea. So let's just shoot this rabbit, I say. And I'm collecting weapon upgrades up the wazoo. I said I'm collecting weapon upgrades up the wazoo, so this should be fairly simple. I just have to shoot this rabbit. And I shot the rabbit. Okay, we're off of rabbit planet, and now we'll move on to a second planet. I don't want to spoil what the planets are before I get to them, so we'll see what the theme is there. I have not beaten this game. I have gotten to, like, Area 6, maybe. But, you know, there's always a shot that I come to it right now. So, I did buy a few Turbo Power. I'm not sure what the Turbo Power does, but I like to have it. Because it's better to have it than not have it. And I'll drop a bomb when I get to Area 3. So once I beat Area 2, I'll have a special present for myself. Hey, look at some Ammonites. I'm noticing there are a lot of Ammonites in these uh, space shooters. So that is this stage's gimmick. Fire. Which shouldn't be too bad, so long as your name isn't Frankenstein's Monster. Because <laughs> Frankenstein is the name of the doctor, not the monster. I don't know if you've heard. It takes a, it takes a very special kind of intellect to have heard. Good God, I sound so obnoxious right there. But you know... That's what I was going for. At least that's what I'll tell myself. So I'll just avoid these volcanoes. And I realized I forgot to explain what's happening. I collected weapon four, which is like a flamethrower, I want to say. And I collected that weapon, or I collected that bomb a little too early. And I got shot by this bullet coming out of the candle. I wonder what that is. That's probably an ember. And there are a lot of embers. I tell you what. I think I gotta start using my uh, blustering tornado. I think I'll just go with blustering, and then... If it's blistering, then so be it. You live and you learn, hopefully. You hopefully live, and then you'll learn. I will collect weapon three. That will be a thing that happens. I believe I'm at the max power for my weapon before I get a wing, and a wing just showed up. You know, ask and you shall receive after all. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm getting backed into a corner by all these embers. And you know what, weapon five, I'm not complaining, but we will get weapon two for the mini boss. 
Now, I have no idea what this thing is. I think it's like just a backpack full of bullets. So that's what I'm going to call it. And the backpack has been, frankly, eviscerated imminently. Call me uh, Eichelman. Because his evisceration was eminent. Okay. So... We have beaten the bunny planet, so I hope that... Embertopolis... That's what I'm going to call this place, because there are a lot of embers, it seems. And you know what? I'll take a flamethrower. I'm not anti-flamethrower. I'm not exactly the Geneva Conventions. Why take one flamethrower when you could take three? I have to say. Okay, now this part is rather tricky, I would say. I've played this part a little bit more than I would like to admit. Uh, let's just say that. So what's going to happen is we are going to collect weapon 4. And we are going to pray to God. Because there is no such thing as an atheist on fire planet. And we'll, you know what, just use the Tricky Lightning. Is it Tricky Lightning, or is it just, like, Thunder? I'm not too sure. I'll have to, like, read the manual or something. And, wow, that is a lot of bullets. I wouldn't mind a wing, and I took the wing, but kind of backed into a corner with all of these embers... Yeah, I'm, I'm calling these embers because they're not quite the bullets that you're typically seeing, like, right there. Okay, you know what? That's fine, that's fine. Throw that, and... We should be safe. We have four lives, and I believe this level is coming to an end. We're almost at the boss. Now, if the boss in the first stage was a bunny... What will the boss in the second stage be? Hedge your bets in the comments below, and if you guessed Golem, you would be right. Okay, let's use the tornado, and then just shoot this thing as fast as I can. And right when I said that, he just died. That was way quicker than the bunny. You know what? Yeah, he got demoted from rabbit to bunny. That That's how much I absolutely destroyed that guy. I am getting cocky, and it is only area two of, like, eight. So, okay. Okay. Now, I have nine dollars to my name. I got one weapon F... And I'm just going to not buy anything. So now we're in Area 3. Or, we're in the deep space that leads to Area 3. Guess what Area 3's theme is? Feels like uh, Blue's Clues a little. I'm trying to make this thing a little interactive. But that's right, it's the water planet, so it's full of fish. So we went from rabbits to fire to fish. Can you guys guess what Area 4 is going to be? Don't spoil it. And you know what? We'll collect weapon 2. We're feeling crazy. Or at least I hope to feel crazy. I would not hope to have this session end prematurely. 
collect an extra life. We're at six of them. I have to say, six of them is better than five of them. Five of them is better than four of them. So therefore, with the transitive property, six, of, six lives is better than four lives. And then, you know what, let's go even crazier. Four lives is better than three lives, which is better than two lives, which is better than one life. And that is how numbers work, kids. Who says you can't learn anything from video games? Probably nobody, because there are a lot of educational video games out there now that I think about it. But you know what? This video game is certainly teaching me that hitting a torpedo is not a fun activity. And now we have to beat this mini-boss. This mini-boss being a mermaid? Maybe a siren? Maybe just a really tall woman? Maybe just a robot of a really tall woman, but... Either way, she's gone. How do you like my, uh... Was it Holland Oates who made that song? I think so. And I got shot. I don't know what I was trying to reference there, but... I believe it was in that one Adam Sandler movie, Pixels. You know, that'll be my question for the comments below. Did you guys like the Pixels movie? I thought it was pretty good, actually. I got a decent kick out of it. And I guess the game does not agree, because I just got absolutely shot. You know what? Use a bomb. Alright, thank you... Th I was gonna say thank you, Thunder, but I am... Eating up extra ships like they're Tic Tacs here. Which is not preferable, but... What else are you going to use those extra lives for? Bragging rights? I mean, you could. And I mean, I would, I would hope to use them as bragging rights, but... You know, sometimes you have to settle... Or sometimes you just have to take the best hand that you're given. You can't exactly get a royal flush with all twos in your hand. But, I mean, you could at least try. And I have a lot of torpedoes coming for me. This part is a little annoying, so I'm going to use... I'm going to be a little liberal with these bombs. Dodge the parasols, dodge the... Are those weather ghosts? I mean, no matter what they are, they're coming right for me, so... I have to be careful, but... I think they're weather ghosts. I gotta start using these bombs way more often. But I think I'm almost done with this level. And by, I think I'm almost done with this level, I mean, I hope I'm almost done with this level. I want to at least get to a, a, a million points. That's what I'm at. I just had to read it a little closer because I'm too focused on what's coming for the ship. Okay, but anyway, this is the boss of Area 3, the Ocean World. It is this uh, weird little octopus guy, which is way easier than the other two bosses that come before it. I think you might be seeing a theme that is... The bosses seem to be getting easier as time goes on, but that is absolutely not the case. If you fought the uh, Ent from Area 4, you would know what I'm talking about. We cracked a million points, which is why we haven't gamed over yet. But, I mean, I'm cutting it a little close, I would say. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Maybe that bomb set me over the top, and... We'll be sitting pretty. Possibly. 
will either be sitting pretty or we will be sitting. The tentacles are not going to do anything to me, I say, but they've already done quite a fair bit. More than I would have liked. But you know what? I just have to use that pressure. I said use the pressure, not lose in the pressure. Okay, but we did get a wing. We got a wing. And we got a wing. Sounding like a uh, friggin' Undertale character there. With all the repetition, but... You know, maybe all that repetition worked out in the end, because that is what happens when you repeat yourself. You beat the octopus. And we are moving on to Area 4. And... I don't want to sound like a Debbie Downer, but I don't exactly have high hopes for this. I got $3 to my name. I'm losing money at, at the seams, basically. And we are in Area 4. Area 4 is a... A woodland area. Which I have hinted at before when I said that the boss was like a weird ent creature. So, if you wanted to guess, I'm sorry, but... You know, it honestly doesn't really matter too much. It's not exactly like you would have won a thousand dollars because of your gun knack trivia knowledge. And what do we have in forests? Trees. What do trees make? They make paper, of course. That's why there are all these rolls of paper. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Here's what's gonna happen. I collect a wing. I dodge these... They look like traditional Japanese sandals. Which, I'd, I don't think they look like it. I think that's what they were, and they... weren't too bad to dodge, but... The problem isn't the sandals, it's what comes after them. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This uh, driftwood is... driving me crazy. Or it's flying me crazy because I'm in a ship right now. T, W, give me an F. Okay. Give me a bomb. Perfect. Buy me, sell me, juice me, squeeze me. And there we go. Maybe this will work out. Am I hitting it? Okay. So I guess I was hitting it, and I had triple fire bombs, so... Let's just say, if you're an acorn, you don't want to mess with me. I don't want to get a little big for my britches, but... I mean, let's just say these britches are pretty, uh, tight. And then once I say that, I'm gonna get... destroyed by these grapes. I was going to say something else that kind of sounds like destroyed by these grapes, but then I realize I want this video to not get reported. And I will leave it at that because I want kids to be able to watch this. But you know what? I can get shot once and get back up. I'm feeling like... <laughs> What was it, Greedo from Star Wars? I don't understand how, like, half of these Star Wars characters get really popular. I'm not gonna lie. They appear, like, twice. In the entire, like, movie. For, like, maybe 20 minutes total. And then there's, like, 15 different people that are like, Oh my god, I want to dress up as Greedo. And then I died right before the end boss. Will we be able to see him right here on the game over screen? 
It doesn't look like it. Well, you know, that was episode one of Gun Knack. I'm definitely going to have to play that game again on the channel. We are not going to continue. I'm just going to take the game over like a man. I said take the game over like a man and press start. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorite uh, shooter games on the NES. And that is saying something. Because this game definitely does it right. See you guys next time.